Pandemonium outside the Stephen Lawrence inquiry as the five suspects are escorted out of the building. They were attacked with hot coffee being thrown over at least one of them. Others were punched by the huge crowd of demonstrators waiting around the Elephant and Castle. This is exactly what the police have spent all day trying to avoid. Public disorder scenes which could turn into violence. The police had been hoping to avoid a repeat of Monday's violence when CS spray was used on demonstrators. The tensions outside the inquiry were running too high and the crowd turned on the police. Much of the frustration during the inquiry has been directed at police in action at the time of Stephen's murder in 1993. More than a hundred officers, many wearing riot equipment, were called in. Traffic was brought to a standstill for over an hour as protesters spilled onto the road. I think that the uh, people have felt frustrated by the evasiveness of the uh, uh, prime suspects in this case, evading the inquiry questions, failing to get out the truth, and I think that has left people in a very annoyed and very angry state. For the second day, the five suspects had been answering questions at the inquiry. No one has ever been convicted over the death of Stephen, an A-level student who was stabbed at a bus stop in Eltham. David Norris, brothers Neil and Jamie are caught. Luke Knight and Gary Dobson have all at various times been charged with his murder. On the stand, David Norris repeatedly gave short, clipped answers to every question put to him. Michael Mansfield, QC for the Lawrences, asked... Has there been a decision by you and the four others that you're just going to say, I can't remember to every question? I'd help if I could, said Norris. Judge William McPherson interjected and said, Mr Norris, are you going to persist in saying, I don't remember? If you do, the inference I and the members of the public will draw is for us. Later, the five issued a statement saying they sympathised with the family and denied murdering Stephen. However, that's no comfort for supporters of Stephen Lawrence. They feel the five have got away without being asked any hard-hitting questions. Guy Lynn, Channel One, The Elephant and Castle.